It's a battle of short conference on Beatons in Middletown. Modern day prep hosting Manasquan. And the Saras faithful have every reason to be excited about this football team. You know, we're more than just about touchdowns when it comes to JSE football highlights. We love to spotlight great players on defense. This is Sheeta Silla, six foot four linebacker committed to Boston College. And you're about to find out why he's going to thrive in the ACC. That closing speed right there is special. Look at how quickly he gets to the quarterback. That's a sack for Sheeta and Silla able to move laterally as well. Once again, he flies to the ball, makes a big stop. Boston College has got themselves a gem right there. He's going to be fun to watch in the coming years. Manasquan in the underdog role, kept battling throughout the game. Shane Letty, nice job there on the fumble recovery. But the Warriors are going to give the ball right back to the Seraphs. Modern day's defense has a unit that creates turnovers. That's Andre Spann coming up with the loose football there. And it's time for the Camden Catholic transfer, Rob McCoy Jr. to cash in on that fumble. He's going up top, Isaiah Alston, six foot four. That is a matchup problem right there. 30 yard touchdown, modern day with a 15 nothing lead in the second quarter. On the ensuing kickoff, this is Canyon Birch from the goal line. He shows that this Manasquan team has plenty of fight. Birch in the open field, that's a huge return. 70 yards as the Warriors take over in modern day territory. But once again, the Saras defense has an answer. Isaiah Henderson, like Sela, is Boston College bound. That's a big tackle for loss for Isaiah Henderson. Oh, it looked like the Warriors were gonna get on the board. Check out Matt Lyons, full extension. But he couldn't get one foot into the paint. So that is one pretty incomplete pass. And here's Isaiah Naguera. He ends the Manasquan threat with the quarterback sack there. The Seraphs take over. And we see McCoy using his weapons. Great play action fake right there. Chris Altino with the catch. The Randy basketball standout showing why he's quickly adapting to life as a tight end. And he's getting serious division one looks. That catch by Altino would set the stage for Malik Ingram. He gets great footing on the muddy track. Stiff arm right there, and he is gone. 34 yards for Malik Ingram. Second TD of the game for the Saras running back. 22-0 modern day prep in front. In the final minute of the first half, McCoy's looking for more, but this pass to the end zone is picked off by James Pendergist. So Manasquan keeps themselves in the football game at the half modern day prep with a 22-0 advantage. In the third quarter, what a job by this modern day offensive line. Look at how much time McCoy has to set and throw. Alston, his second TD catch of the game. Isaiah Alston from 25 yards out makes it 28 nothing modern day. And the modern day defense produced three fumble recoveries in this game as well as an interception. Junior Amir Coleman coming up with a big play and it sets the stage for another dose of Malik Ingram. Look at how he absorbs contact so well. And when he gets to that second level, you can forget about it. 35 yard touchdown run for Malik Ingram. That's his third touchdown on the afternoon as modern day prep reaches 6-0 in 2018. 41 to nothing is your final. Modern day prep is not in the latest top 20 state rankings, but they show all the elements to be in the conversation as one of the top teams in New Jersey. Modern Day's got Donovan Catholic next week, and then they'll host out-of-state foe Cheshire Academy to close out the regular season. The Seraphs could be on a collision course with Red Bank Catholic in the state playoffs, which would be something that the whole Jersey Shore would love to see. It's Modern Day pitching a shutout over Manasquan on Saturday afternoon. I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.